Hi guys. So I am coming into you guys with a really quick review right now. It's just one product uh, that I've been testing out for the last little bit and I wanted to say um, whether I like it or not and unfortunately this one is a heck no I hate it. Uh, it is the uh, waterproof eyeliner pen from elf this one in particular is in the shade black and I got it in my Ariel um, Little mermaid collection that they paired with Walgreens for from elf So I got it in that kind of collection and I have to say I really I really hate it Honestly, I will show you in a second Like the line when you when you first swatch it is okay But the more that you do it you can see it the more that it kind of like dries out and then you have to like store it completely upside down like this you feel like so you get product but then the, the lines are so uneven like same pressure and everything and it like it really kind of loses pigmentation halfway through a line so you're constantly literally it took me like five times from start to tail to get one solid black line and Honestly, I really hate the formula. I'm going to let it dry in my hand so we can kind of test if it's waterproof or not because it claims that it is. But while I do that, I am going to go ahead and show you an option that I absolutely adore. I would recommend this to anybody if anyone wanted to get into liquid liner and in the pen um, format particularly. This is the one that I'm going to tell you to reach for right now and it is the Jessie's Girl Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. And honestly, this is in the shade black again. You can see the tip, how fine it is. I've had mine for like at least two months about now. And you can see, that's two lines, how black that is. Here's one line. The one line's here. How black it is. It is black. And we're going to let that go ahead and dry again to show you the formula. So how I actually stumbled across the Jessie's Girl liner is through an Ipsy bag. Um, I just randomly got it tossed into an Ipsy bag from from them and stuff. And then I, I didn't pick it up right away because I kind of knew that I had one I had already liked. And it is from the brand Essence. And they do have a liquid liner pen format like that as well. Um, honestly, for those of you who like liquid liner in Canada, really easy to get it. That is your best bet is the Essence one. But if you don't mind um, shipping or you don't mind having to like kind of worry about how to get it up to Canada, I would recommend the Jessie's Girl all the way, even between those two. Um, the Essence tip got a little bit more flimsy as time went on, but it still could draw a very precise line, I found. You just had to be a little bit more delicate with it. But unfortunately, the um, Jessie, or fortunately, I should say, the Jessie's Girl is literally that good. Like, it's just amazing. I absolutely love it. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you with some water that I have. Woo! throwing it everywhere on my hands we're going to show you how waterproof this stuff is okay so I got my hands sufficiently wet and you can see on this hand the um the elf already got me smudged okay let me let me open this up guys because I got some time since I actually talked quick today <laughs> I know that never happens okay I got water on the Jessie's girl I'm just going to rub in soft circles. Now you can see, okay, one sec, let me zoom you. I have to do it with my fingers. Welcome into here, guys. So here's the Jessie's Girl, and I am rubbing delicately just to be safe. And you can see it has some fallout and some moving of product, but it's still pretty good. And then the e.l.f., dipping fingers again. Sorry, the elf, same thing. The elf is like smudging. It's smudged already on everything. When I tapped my hand, it smudged. Okay, coming back out. Oh, I moved you. Oh, I moved you really bad that time. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so yeah, so like you can just see, like compar comparatively with Jessie's Girl, I still have a line. With this one, it's basically lines are gone. Like I can't see where I initially applied it. It's just... A smear on my hand which while we're continuing to talk I am gonna clean it off so that when I do my next video that I have to film I'm not gonna have like a, a black swatchy hand but unfortunately um, with that um, and I will say this like 
honestly, the Jessie's Girl I've worn for work. I've worn it in rainy days. I've worn it on days where my ads are a little bit more teary than normal and stuff like that. Um, and I've had, never had a problem with that. So unfortunately, it could be because I had lotion on my hand that it kind of caused it to smudge a little bit. But you could still see that precision line that was there beforehand still kind of remained. And I think that's kind of the best part with this is like how... Um, how do I want to put that? How how worry free basically it is like I really had to scrub up my hand here to get it off but this one was actually pretty pretty easy to get it off and I think that's what I'm saying honestly for the same price for the same quality I think elf can do better and I know that they have done better because um their liquid liner eyeliner one dollar ones those never smudge on me they never budge and those ones aren't claiming to be waterproof so I kind of feel like by strapping on waterproof on this label that they're kind of leading people to have false hopes on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's just me. But yeah, I was really actually very disappointed on this, getting this and that set. I really would have rather had another eyeshadow brush or another um, kind of tool like an eyeliner cool pen or something like that. You know, something something useful is what I'm trying to say. But unfortunately for me, the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen is a dud. Don't buy it. Not worth it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.